Okay, so we talk a lot about the symptoms associated with high blood sugar and how we should all be in pursuit of a lifestyle that keeps glucose levels relatively stable. But as beneficial as that is, there are cases where your blood sugar can go too low. This is referred to as hypoglycemia, and research has shown that people without diabetes who have a fasting blood sugar below 72 milligrams per deciliter are at an increased risk of stroke, heart attack, and death of all causes. There are several reasons why people experience low blood sugar, and in this video, we'll be discussing four of them. Hey, my name is Fantasia and hypoglycemia is a clinical term for what happens when blood sugar drops lower than normal. The thing is, low blood sugar might be easy for you to miss if you're not monitoring your glucose. People who have hypoglycemia often have symptoms including shakiness, sweating, difficulty concentrating, blurred vision, confusion, and a fast heartbeat. Those are some of the symptoms that arise during a hypoglycemic episode. And when you take into consideration why they happen, well, it's kind of fascinating. You see, when the body doesn't have an adequate supply of glucose, the brain triggers the release of adrenaline to increase the amount of circulating blood sugar. While several chemical reactions are happening that restore your glucose levels to normal range, this chain of events may cause palpitations, tremors, anxiety, and even hunger. You may feel uncomfortable during these moments, but your body is working really hard to keep you alive. Now, as tempting as it is to diagnose yourself with low blood sugar when you're feeling any of these symptoms, unfortunately, it's not that simple. When doctors diagnose hypoglycemia, they rely on what's called the Whipple's triad. First, your doctor will look for symptoms of hypoglycemia. Second, they'll look for objective proof of low glucose levels by using something like a glucometer or a CGM. And third, symptoms must resolve after consuming fast-acting carbohydrates, like juice or raisins. This process is followed because hypoglycemia can be easy to misdiagnose if you're only going by symptoms alone. That being said, you don't have to be experiencing a hypoglycemic episode in front of your doctor in order for your experience to be validated with the diagnosis. It can happen anywhere, anytime, and to anybody for a number of reasons. So, to help you narrow it down, let's go over four common causes that may be causing you to experience low blood sugar. The first, eating too many carbohydrates. In response to a flood of glucose from heavy carb meals, your pancreas produces insulin, which moves sugar out of the blood and into the cells. Now, if you release too much insulin too quickly, your blood sugar may plummet and you can end up temporarily hypoglycemic. This is known as reactive hypoglycemia and tends to occur two to five hours after eating. The thing is, your body has natural ways to bring glucose levels back into normal range through processes called glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis. However, people who frequently experience hypoglycemia may be producing too much insulin, which prevents this mechanism from kicking into gear. So if you need to eat carbs to raise your blood sugar, it's a good idea to start slow so you don't spike your blood sugar again. The second, drinking alcohol. Binge drinking is most problematic, but even one or two drinks might cause hypoglycemia in a susceptible individual or if consumed without food. That's because alcohol interferes with the process that allows your body to maintain normal levels of glucose, which can cause glucose levels to plummet. The third is stress. Stress is actually useful if you're being confronted by a physical threat. But when the stress exists only in your head, which we've all experienced, Glucose is flooded into your bloodstream with no quick way for your body to use that energy. This leaves your pancreas to shoulder the load, which can lead to the overproduction of insulin and rapidly declining blood sugar levels. And lastly, exercise. Of course, there are several benefits to exercise, and it's certainly not something you should avoid. But one potential downside is that activity sometimes leads to hypoglycemia. This is much more common in people who take glucose-lowering medications, but it can also happen to those who don't as well. As always, remember that your body is unique and that different types of exercise can have different effects on your blood sugar levels. So be sure to pay close attention to how you feel during and after exercise. So those are four reasons why you or someone you love could be experiencing hypoglycemia. Doing things like pairing carbs with fat or protein and practicing mindfulness can help you avoid big swings in glucose that can lead to really low blood sugar. If this video left you intrigued, you should definitely subscribe to the channel and check out Level's blog for more information about all things metabolic health. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.